One morning, King Connor woke up shocked. His sister, Dectra, was missing. Turns out she was taken with 50 other girls. There was a rumour that they got taken to Tiernanog, the land of youth. One day, while hunting, Fergus MacRoy saw a light coming from a fairy mound. He knew exactly who it was. It was the mythical god Lou of the Long Arm and Dectra, who looked as young as the day she left. I must bring you back, said Fergus MacRoy. No, I don't want to go back, but here, take my baby and make him the best fighter Ireland's ever seen. Fergus MacRoy brought Satanta back to Ulster, where it was argued over who shall foster this amazing boy. It was decided that Satanta would be looked after by Detra's sister, although the general community, including the king, also looked after him. Fergus told Satanta of his destiny to become one of Ireland's great warriors. He trained and trained. He shed blood, sweat and tears as he wait, wanted for, to fulfil his destiny and join the Red Branch Knights to reach his full potential among them. Tanta was a great warrior as his mother predicted, so the king invited Satanta to his fort. What if they think I'm not brave enough? Satanta said. His mother kissed him on the forehead and said, Don't worry, show them how strong you are, said his mother. So, the, so Satanta set off for the king's fort playing hurling as he went. He hit the ball so high up in the air and hard that you could barely see. After Satanta arrived at the king's castle, he came across a, a group of boys playing hurling. He couldn't help it but join. Two minutes in, he snatched the ball and scored a goal. The boys who were not happy with a stranger joining the game got their revenge by launching their spears at him and beating him with it with their fists. Satanta was so mad that his hair looked as though it was on fire and a bright light came out of his eyes. The boys didn't know that this light in front of them was the fury of Lou, the god of the two hooded down. Teeth gritting like a dog, Satanta charged full speed, knocking over all 20 boys. When King Connor heard about the new boy, he knew it could only be one person, Satanta. Connor then promoted Satanta to come into the Red Branch Knights. Over the months, he learned the art of poetry, music, fitness and fighting. He even became the leader of the Red Branch Knights, quite an achievement for a seven-year-old. King Connor was invited to a feast by Cullen. He was only allowed to bring his best warriors and King Connor thought Satanta would be one of them. Being as would usually be seen as a great honour, but when Satanta was told he was in the middle of a hurling match, so he said, I can't come right now, but I will come afterwards and he ran off to, his, to continue his match. Usually King Connor would not allow this rudeness, but, Con but he was so proud of his nephew's dedication to the sport, and he let him be. So after the match, Satanta went to the feast, hitting his ball into the air. Satanta arrives at the fort, the place is in darkness. Satanta hears music in the fort, and then he hears a growling noise. It was the hound. Big Hound jumped out of the woods. It was bigger than Satanta. The Hound had red eyes that looked like fire, with the jaw full of sharp teeth. Cullen's howl growled at Satanta, his teeth dripping with drill. He galloped towards Satanta. Satanta threw up a slitter and hit it right into the Hound's open mouth. The Hound dropped stone dead. Cullen was very upset. His guard dog was dead. But King Connor was amazed that this seven-year-old had killed Cullen's dog. Who will take care of my family? Seeing that Cullen was very upset, Satanta said, Get me a puppy of the same breed and I will train it to be the best. Until then, I will guard your home. And this is how Satanta got his name, Gu Cullen, which means the Hound of Cullen.